Oh, hang oh. on to a What's going on everybody? It's your boy Always the Boost GT500 coming at you with another unboxing video, man. I know it's been a minute since I had some content, but I'm back. I'm here. If anybody has ever watched any of my old past videos, I used to do any any parts I would get. I would do an unboxing. I used to be in my office. Now I got a new crib. I finally got my own garage. Got Papa Smurf in the background behind me, man. And so it's great, man. But let's get into this video. So pretty much, if anybody saw my last video I posted. I posted a video of me going to 1320 Junkie Performance Track Rental right before the, the season ended. And um, I bought the car. I was hoping to run a great pass, maybe a nine-second pass. But unfortunately, I was having issues shifting the car from second to third. Um, I'm not sure if I ever spoke about the clutch and transmission setup I have in the car kind of right now. Um, I'm running a triple disc ace clutch with the light and flywheel with the T56 Magnum XL uh, still manual transmission. Um, I was trying to use the wide box. I was trying to everything, man. So I figured, you know, let's try changing the clutch setup. So shout out to the homie Dion over at Vapor Performance, man. Hook me up with his peoples over at McLeod. Dalton, man, I appreciate all the help, man. We were trying to come up with this clutch setup. So I pretty much went with a McLeod RXT 1200. It's a twin disc, not like my triple disc, but it's rated to hold over 1200 horse. Um, which I'm nowhere near. I'm like a thousand horse, a little, a little under 1100, you know. So we, we, you know, he gave me this setup. We're gonna see if this works. Of course, I'm gonna send the car down to Chuck at seeing the oil tech, you know. And um, let's get in there, man. Let's see what this bad boy look like. So going to McLeod, I gave the Ace Clutch a try. I had it, you know, a year or two, and I don't think it was just meshing with the, the transmission setup I have right now. So, let's check out this McLeod. Let's see what we got. Got a new pilot bearing. That's what's up. Need that. I also have, a, I got a braided um, clutch line. I thought I had a braided clutch line in the car. I don't know why I thought I had it or I did not have it. But I got it now, thanks to Dalton. Sent me a, uh, a new um, bleeder, with a bleeder. So braid line, that could be an issue as well. Cause they say the factory clutch lines that holds a lot of heat. So we'll see, you know. Man, they got this pack of stuff. Box is heavy. <laughs> oh man, woo! How am I supposed to get this out? Well, you know what? Let's just rip the box. Not breaking my pack for this. Get out of here. So yeah, man, I went with this, this McLeod. I heard nothing but good things about it. I used to run a McLeod single disc um, when I first got the car back in 2011. I loved it back then. It felt like, you know, a factory clutch. Nice, smooth, they had no chatter. And look, years later, I'm right back on the cloud. So I'm hoping this fixed the issue, you know, and I'm gonna get back at the track. And uh, we're gonna try it again. That's all we can do, right? I mean, things like this happen. Things like this happen, right? Okay, okay. okay so let's get this going on. Let's see what this clutch looks like. I know a lot of people was asking me, you know, why I didn't go with the Mantic um, triple disc clutch that they have out and I'll be honest with everybody man that triple this is like double the price of this you know what I'm saying and uh, I figured let's try this route first if I could save you know a little bit of money you know which you can't really save in these you know doing stuff like this but oh man this box got a little heat but let's get this thing open man let's get this thing open got here so got some stickers McLeod check it out check it out some instructions from McLeod 
finally see people still use instructions because a lot of things that you buy for these car parts, you no longer get instructions nowadays. All right, and uh, alignment tools, bolts, and uh, let's just get this clutch out of here. Let's get this clutch out of here. Here you got it, guys. We have the clutch. Here you have it. Nice. Well put together. All right. So we got the clutch. Okay. And we got the clutch here. And this stuff back in a minute. And we also went the steel fly light and flywheel, not aluminum because they say uh, with this setup and the heat running the uh, RXT, the steel is much better. Here, got the steel light and flywheel. Be nice. So, we'll see how this works out once I get this thing installed. And here we got it. It's pretty much it. I also got a new pilot bearing, like I showed you there. And just in case, shout out to my connect over at Ford. Also got a new throwout bearing. McLeod recommends using the factory one. So, we got a new throwout bearing just in case. So, I don't want to be all up in there and we get to a point like this, right? So, let's uh, handle that. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Got my Cloud RXT 1200 right here. And um, I all, Dion also sent me out because um, if you saw in that video, I think maybe I had a bad lower control arm. So,. He sent me out a new control arm for that, and I'm gonna do another video for that for the guys. So here we got it. Clutch bleed line. RXT 1200 McLeod and the flywheel. New throughout bearing, and we can get back rolling. So hopefully, as we get this stuff installed, ASAP, I will put all the information in the link below, including Dalton's information, Dion's information, Chuck's information. If you guys have any questions on anything I'm doing on this build. Um, and here we got it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and uh, we check you out in another one. Peace.